leaving Springville, heading to uh, Allegheny State Park. 3,000 feet of climbing. It's gonna be a hilly day. I'm back in it. We'll see how I manage. Here's the beginning of my re-entry into the Appalachian Mountains this summer after having ridden over them through New Hampshire and Vermont just over a week ago. At this point, I'm not aware of the tasking days ahead of me, but I start getting the picture by the time I make it to Bradford, Pennsylvania tomorrow morning. My first introduction to these difficult days ahead is while riding into the Allegheny State Park by day's end. First I ride 30 miles through the village of Ellicottville, the town of Gray Valley, and the city of Salamanca on US Route 219 climbing and descending about a thousand feet of somewhat gentle grace before entering the park. This is gonna be a spectacular day. I'm already like climbing and it's three miles in. U.S. Route 219 runs 535 miles from West Seneca, New York to Rich Creek, Virginia. It traverses the states of New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, and Virginia. In New York, U.S. Route 219 runs close to 70 miles from southeastern Buffalo at the town of West Seneca to the Pennsylvania state line at the town of Carrollton. These first 19 miles of my day from Springville to Ellicottville had plenty of hills to ride up and down on. I climbed 900 feet in elevation and dropped close to 700. It was a great warm up for the climbing I was later contending with in the Allegheny State Park, but it was also an introduction to the gorgeous lush forest of the Western Appalachian Mountains. The spectacular scenery progressed as I got closer to the New York-Pennsylvania border. The scenery is ridiculous. Just thick forest I'm like who doesn't want to go down that road every scene around every turn is like walls of forested mountains right next to you ahead of me is the village of Ellicottville situated on the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains at 1549 feet in elevation this area is known as one of the premier winter skiing destinations in the eastern half of the country it's home to Holiday Valley Ski Resort where visitors can enjoy 60 slopes with 13 lifts. I take a look around, riding through its center on West Washington Street. This town seems popular as a tourist destination with its lively atmosphere and multitude of shops, restaurants and bars. After my quick look around Ellicottville, I get back on 219 and keep on riding south towards Salamanca on the entrance to the Allegheny State Park. As soon as I reach the city of Salamanca, I find a picnic table by the roadside where I take out some leftover pizza slices from the night before to eat for lunch. As usual, I entertain myself by watching the traffic drive by. This 219 is a popular route for truckers and every which kind of vehicle. Afterwards, I get back on my bike and ride south where I take a right turn on Wildwood Avenue leaving US Route 219 behind. Soon after crossing the Allegheny River, I take Parkway Drive which leads me towards the entrance of Allegheny State Park and right away I start serious climbing. I just did uh, 30 miles 
to Salamanca. Some climbing, a thousand feet of three thousand for today. Now I got twenty more miles to go and two thousand more feet of climbing. I'm back in it, climbing. So far, not too steep, but steep enough. Going about five miles an hour. I got a long ways to go. Feeling good. Just keeping a good pace. Trying to keep my legs from burning. Because <laughs> they do if I press too hard. So I'm just trying to keep them at a happy place. It's a long climb. And I'm getting chased by mosquitoes every time I stop. I get covered up. Woo! Yes. Oh, yes, I did it. State's Allegheny State Park is located just north of Pennsylvania's Allegheny National Forest. It is divided into two sections, the Red House and Quaker Run areas. This Red House area comprises the northeastern half of the park and it offers attractions such as Stone Tower, the Summit Fire Tower, Red House Lake, Bridal Falls and the Art Roscoe Ski Area. It also has a 5 mile paved bike path and 130 campsites. The Quaker Run area is on the southwestern section of the park and where I'm heading to pitch my tent for the night. This area includes Quaker and Science Lake, Bear Caves, Thunder Rocks, a multitude of hiking trails, an amphitheater and several options for camping. Back to climbing. Not sure for how much, but if it's going to give me another downhill like the last one, I'll do it again. So far, this one's a repeat of the first one. I still have 10 more miles to go to get to camp. I'm doing it. A little bit out of time, but I'm doing it. The hills just keep coming. After every turn, I think it's, you're like waiting for it to plateau and it doesn't. It's a legit climb like the first one.
Okay, I think I did it. From the city of Salamanca, it took 20 miles and close to 2,000 feet of climbing and descending to reach the Quaker area's Cane Hollow campground where I planned on spending the night. Today I was put to the test after not having climbed much while crossing the state of New York from east to west using the gently graded Canalway Trail. Those easy miles are now behind me and soon enough I'll be further tested by the crazy grades of Pennsylvania. What a day. I'm here, but it wasn't easy. <laughs> I'm like a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I'm destroyed. Appalachian Mountains, I mean, the west is all great and all. So far, what I've seen, the gorgeous altitude and really heavy climbs, but this Appalachian Mountain <laughs> range is no joke in steepness. It's everywhere, up and down. And I'm about to see three days worth of it to get to Pittsburgh. Now I get to rest up and prepare for tomorrow. I pitch my tent, grab a well-deserved shower and prepare a pasta dinner while enjoying the natural beauty around me and the insect and bird sounds. Another sound I very much enjoy while camping in parks such as this one is the sound of people around me. I spend so much time alone that being around people enjoying time out in nature is very much welcomed. I eat my dinner while the sun starts to set on this wonderfully spent day on my bike and soon after I pass out from sheer exhaustion. I pack up camp after a full night of deep sleep and drink my hot tea before heading back on the road. Pennsylvania is just a few miles away and I am static to move on to this new state I've yet visited. The thought of new sights, people to meet and adventures are such fuel for me when bicycle touring. The plan is to ride through the Allegheny National Forest eventually reaching the city of Pittsburgh 194 miles away. On the way I will try to ride on as many rail trails as possible but as I soon realize this is not as easy as I hoped it would be. Rail trails are here and there in Pennsylvania, but as soon as you get off one to reach the other, you are dealing with insane climbing. Ready to head down south? I don't know where I'm heading, other than that it's the Allegheny National Forest area on its way to Pittsburgh, but that's hundreds of miles away, or 180 miles away. What a chill morning. Just going slow, getting my legs going.
This is a great example of a low grade incline that I've been doing right behind me. And, uh, and they wear you out because it's a long stretch of just climbing. You don't really see it when you look ahead. But if you stop pedaling, the bike stops. They're tough and they can condition you just as well as anything else. Such a cool feeling to feel your body getting conditioned and, and healthier and stronger. Been climbing a while, like five miles straight. I'm 10 miles in. Been pretty much climbing all day, or since the morning. <laughs> all day. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Ooh, good morning, climb. <laughs> I'm about to get rewarded, I know it. All right, I see downhill here. I'm soaked. The good news is that the rain it's not coming yet. It's so moist out though that I feel like it's gonna come sooner or later, probably when the sun comes up around midday. So I gotta make the most of this morning. Here's my farewell to the state of New York with this outstanding downhill into the city of Bradford, Pennsylvania. It took 10 days to ride from New York's eastern city of Troy westbound to Niagara Falls and then southbound to Allegheny State Park. The memories I've gathered during these days in New York are so many. I've met so many wonderful people along the way and was fortunate to connect with the historical significance of the Erie Canal and its charming communities along its way. I also witnessed the natural wonder of Niagara Falls and was left with a grand impression of its power. The beauty of New York State surprised me and I was impressed by all it offered me beyond any expectations I might have had. I learned that there is much more for me to see here and I will be surely returning before long. Now is onwards and into magical Pennsylvania and its torturous hills. Give me some breakfast. After destroying some breakfast and shoving some pastries in my bag, I ride through the center of the city of Bradford noticing its historic buildings and shops. This morning I aim to get back on US Route 219, but here in Pennsylvania it's not as kind as in New York. The trucking as well as all their traffic is way more significant I am once again facing close to 3,000 more feet of climbing in 60 miles before reaching the town of Richwood. <laughs> 